Good morning everybody, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Good morning. Thursday morning and the sun is now brilliant sunshine and it's really really hot again and it's beautiful and I live near the riverside. There is no need to go out to the seaside or anything like that because I live in a lovely historical place called Rochester right near the castle and the cathedral. I feel tired. I've got an elderly mum that needs help and support and it is my brother Dylan's birthday today which my mother reminded me of yesterday. It's his birthday today. A two month old child that died. Right, I would have had a brother who would have been 57 this year. 57. Right. And I've got morons outside doing the same usual sit shit. Sex on the brain. Sex on the brain. I'm a middle-aged woman and I'm not interested anymore. I'm, I've, I'm living a clean life. I don't take drugs. I don't drink. And, and I'm celibate. And I've been celibate for over six years now. I'm living a clean, healthy life and I'm not interested in people's perverse behaviour. I'm not interested in it. The devil doesn't tempt me and he never will. And it is the anniversary of my brother's death. So I'm trying to relax and keep quiet and, and, and just be left alone at this difficult time for my mother. Alexa, what's the time, please? The time is 11.31 a.m. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. On this day in 1967, the world's first cash machine was opened in London. Bank cards didn't exist, so customers were issued with vouchers. You could only withdraw a single £10 note, and you also had to remember a six-digit code. Phew! So, good morning, guys. I don't expect people to sympathise with me or my mother. But, you know, common decency. If you don't like somebody, leave them alone. Right? Just leave them alone. Don't go near them. Don't harass them. Just leave them be. For all this crap that I'm getting outside, I have got 103,000 likes on TikTok and my YouTube channel subscribers are growing. Thank you very much for your support. There are some people out there that are following me and are genuinely interested in what I'm saying and understand the way I feel. But for uh, some people outside, like the scum that I've got following me about, like last night was disgusting. My mum had, had openly talked about my dead brother, and I've got a group, uh, it's sex on the brain. Can't even be bothered to do it indoors, just, just let it all hang out outside. Really? So I've made myself a cup of coffee. I, I went out to the co-op this morning because I needed coffee. I drink a lot of coffee. I like a cup of coffee in the morning. And every time my mum gives me a bit of coffee and I go out to the co-op, which is at the top of Corey's Road, um, I, I know that there's going to be some shit that goes on in there. But I, I thought, you know, I had a dog barking next door. The people, the people that are bullying me obviously don't look in the mirror in the, in the morning because they're nothing to look at. It's nothing to be proud of, bullying a vulnerable woman. It's disgusting and horrible. There's nothing I could do about it. I have to put up with it and I've put up with it living here for four years. And um, every time I speak to somebody, then I get like not physically attacked afterwards, but people get jealous. If I speak to someone, I get, like, harassed afterwards. 
Am I supposed to sit in my flat like a fucking dummy and not speak and not talk to anyone? So I walked up the road to the co-op, I walked inside, I'm writing this all down in my journal because Hyde Housing told me to, to keep a note of the harassment that's going on with certain neighbours. They told me to write it down in a journal. Write all the harassment, when these dogs are barking, when they're going off, how long it's lasting for and everything like that. Because it's being done on purpose. And in this hot weather, you don't want to be sat next door to a constant dog barking, do you? So I grab my basket and I just got a few bits and I'm going to put the chocolate bits into the fridge because they, they melt in this weather. So we've got some Reese's Peanut Butter Cups Minis because they are quite nice. We've got a Yorkie Duo. Chocolate is nice cold, believe you me it is. So stick your chocolate in the fridge. I've got some Jelly Babies. I've got two boxes of Nescafe Latte which is still at £1.75 each. I've got some sour cream and onion Pringles and um, two chocolate yuzus. My mum was talking about a chocolate pudding yesterday, a chocolate pudding and cake. She'd ordered herself a chocolate cake and started giggling. We're supporting Mind Buxton. Mind, Mind is a mental health charity because bullying and harassment affects your mental health. People commit suicide from constant bullying. And I, 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 I'll say something after I've shown you what I've got. We've got some Rocky bars, seven Rocky bars, two scratch cards, five pound ones. £500 loaded and 2 million black pearl. So two £5 scratch cards. I'm not very lucky with these, but I thought we'd give it a go. Naughty, but I don't smoke and I don't drink. I haven't got a partner. I haven't got to pay out for drink cigarettes or anything like that. So why not? We got a Cornish pasty, a Jinx's Cornish pasty, which I'm going to have for lunch. Um, the delivery that I had, um, the delivery that I had from Sainsbury's um, last week was disgusting. The water's got holes in it. Like some wild animal has punctured the bottles. That's why everything was leaking. Um, I went to pick the, the bottles up and it looked like some wild animal had pierced the bottom of the, the water and it was spilling out everywhere. So we're dealing with a monster, you know. I mean, someone's broken my mother's washing line and the trellis. Somebody's destroyed the Rochester Riverside building. Somebody's spread red paint and smashed Barclays Bank windows in Chatham. And I haven't been into Chatham since I went there with my son and his friends. I think that was a few weeks ago now. <laughs> so what I was going to say about bullying is there was a boy in America, and I've said about it before, who was afraid to go to school because he was bullied, being bullied about his appearance. And he was a little kid, he wasn't even a teenager, and he killed himself because of harassment and bullying, and then he was afraid to go to school. And I know the feeling, because I have to go out and go into the co-op and put up with the shit. 
but I don't kill myself because they're not worth it. You don't drag yourself down to excrement. Shit! That's what they are, shit. The lowest of the low. Poo on my shoe. I wouldn't, I wouldn't shed one tear for any of them. They're going to get karma. It's no good being nice to these people. They've got no sense. They don't listen. They're selfish. Me, 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 me. Go fuck yourself. So this poor kid, right, was afraid to go to school, so much so that he killed himself. And do you know what the excrement did? The vermin and the shit of society that's going around today. Say, good riddance. I hate people. And you wonder why. I hate them. You want me to vote for somebody? Vote for somebody that doesn't care, doesn't know I exist. No thank you. I'm going to get on with the rest of my day, right? And yeah, it does get a little bit monotonous and, monotonous and boring. But I am celibate by choice. By choice. And my God, don't I feel healthier and cleaner and less hassled because of it. Nothing on this planet would make me want to be with anybody right now. No one. A relationship takes a long time. A true relationship with someone that really cares about you. You don't just pick someone off the street or someone comes up off the street and says, I love you. That's bullshit. So many times women, other women have said to me, yeah, they're telling you that just to get down your knickers. I am proud of myself. I am a strong woman. And you can shout crap out of the window. You can think you're driving me to despair, but I'll drive you round the fucking bend because you will not get anywhere with me. You can sit me next door to a dog and it can bark from morning, noon till night, seven days a week. What you've done to me is make me stronger, right? You've made me stronger by what the shit that's been thrown at me. It's been better than going to a boot training camp where sergeants are fucking shouting at you. You're crap. You're shit. You're useless. What you've done is make me stronger. That's what you've done with your incessant bullying and fucking shite. And when I see the likes of what's wandering about the streets, right? A fucking, that poor woman last night was off her head on drugs. Two blokes. <laughs> Look like the walking dead. Believe you me, right? Wait for the right person to come along, right? And if they don't come along, get on with your life. But don't, don't do what nearly happened to me. Let's, some random guy walks up to you, tells you 
he cares about you, loves you, and then tries to get down your trousers. You're worth more than that. And I fucking am. See you later.